what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today is another most requested and awaited video of this year probably after saturn's retrogression yes 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 and after the uh, video which i promised about mars saturn to make today but maybe i'll make it tomorrow but this video has more requests than the mars saturn video so i'm morally and legally obliged to make this video yes 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 it is jupiter retrograde 2018 yes so finally jupiter has turned retrograde some days back and it will be in its retrogression and it will be primarily retrograde in the nakshatra vishaka within the zodiac sign of libra all right so today we will discuss in short <laughs> <laughs> on jupiter's retrogression what retrogression is and what happens when jupiter goes retrograde and what happens when jupiter goes retrograde in the sign of libra and what happens when it is retrograde in the vishakha nakshatra specifically okay so there you go if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then before jupiter turns direct please subscribe okay and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and that is it and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you understand the energy of vishakha nakshatra where jupiter is now going topsy turvy okay there you go yes yes finally i have made this video so um the last video which i made was on saturn retrograde so if you have not watched that video uh, please watch it because there i explain in detail what retrogression is and i am not intending to do it again in this video okay <laughs> so let me say again what retrogression is basically when suppose you are going to purchase a google pixel yes the last example was of iphone so today why not google yes so you are going to purchase a google pixel yes a mobile or a camera or dslr whatever it is and then midway when you are driving you realize suddenly oh my goodness i don't have my wallet then whoosh, bang on come back then you come back to your home you take the wallet and you check if there are lights on lights off yes did i take my debit card my credit card whatever it is or did i take my id card for my job yes or did i take my passport or my aadhar card in india so whatever things you missed you take them also apart from that which you came to take yes so that means when a planet is direct like jupiter was direct it was moving very fast my god 29 degrees of libra it reached <laughs> so that time it's like we are always driving the car yes we are going ahead we are thinking ahead 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 whichever houses whichever house uh, libra was falling in your chart you could have seen that there is tremendous there was tremendous growth in those areas so suppose libra was in your 10th house then you could have seen that there is tremendous growth in your workplace that doesn't mean you got a promotion that will depend on the dasha but what i am saying is wherever jupiter goes direct there's a lot of expansion and growth in that area yes you might not get a promotion but at least you might be working much better than you were working earlier so suppose jupiter goes uh, direct in your third house yes for leo ascendants then you would have realized that things pertaining to the third house which is what communication younger siblings yes journalism all those things we're going very good we're going very fast but now suddenly it has gone retrograde yes and it was stationary and still now it is not moving very fast it has started its motion uh, in retrogression now and now it is gradually picking the pace because jupiter saturn are ultimately slow moving planets as we all know so they take some time to go ahead or to turn back so now it's going to turn retrograde and it is going to go back into the nakshatra of vishakha where it is still there i mean it has been in vishakha because the first 3 degrees uh, the first three padas of vishakha come in libra and the last pada will go to the sign of scorpio the fourth pada so now what's happening is 
when jupiter was direct in vishaka what was happening is see basically we have to understand uh, the zodiac signs to the nakshatras the sign of libra has the nakshatra of swati in between yes swati is what swati signifies space abundance things where things explode <laughs> yes and then vishaka represents those things which we try to narrow down after the explosion yes so when uh, things are in swati then you may realize that there's too much of it <laughs> yes because that's libra libra is expansion is the original seventh house seventh house is the house of marketing is the house of business this too much of it sometimes too many offers too many deals too many allurements <laughs> that's what libra is right after all allurements <laughs> but when it comes to vishaka it narrows down very much that vayu because swati is all about vayu right we all know that so that swati now that vayu gets condensed and then we are left with vishaka which means we select from a very few options but the predicament is we still don't select <laughs> we are still hovering okay because vishaka is that uh, split which shows two things two or maybe many but at least there are some ways where we go but in swati it's like total chaos <laughs> yes now swati is very good for certain things if you want to do some things at massive scale at, at such a pace which nobody has done earlier then swati is very good but because libra is the debilitation sign for sun which is the natural atma karaka then that that's why the nakshatras within libra can show that there is a lack of focus within ourselves yes or even if there is focus we don't know what to do at the end we are confused so that can happen because sun gets debilitated in the sign of libra although it degree wise it may not be debilitated in vishaka but still the flavor of the debility sustains it prevails at the end because the zodiac sign is the same it is not as debilitated as if the degrees go ahead after 10 degrees but it is still debilitated yes so basically what this means is that whenever vishaka uh, vishaka nakshatra has any planet it can happen that we experience that now we are trying to narrow down our options from swati it's like in swati they say na Uh, as in hindi they say hawa mein rehta hai zameen mein nahi <laughs> which means now from uh, vishaka is basically what vishaka is coming from the air to the ground but we have still not reached <laughs> we are somewhere in between yes so when jupiter transited swati you would have seen many people they were tried so many different things pertaining to religion spirituality because that's what jupiter is and it will be also depend on which uh, houses originally jupiter is ruling in your birth chart yes so if jupiter is ruling your fourth house yes then it can happen that matters per when it came to matters pertaining to education you are doing 10 different things at a time 10 <laughs> or 1000 things especially some sagittarius ascendant sign <laughs> they've done so many things from last my god from last september october that after some time they felt oh my god <laughs> that's it <laughs> i can't do more <laughs> i need to narrow down my things so vishaka is the place where that narrowing begins it doesn't culminate there yes then when you then when you narrow it narrow it narrow it then you reach the next nakshatra which is anuradha which is in scorpio yes so in that nakshatra you finally narrow it down to something very specific and you try to follow it with all devotion because anuradha is the nakshatra of devotion faith love humility romance <laughs> so now you understand how this progression is happening swati gives you this ideas yes yes do this this will work that will work and then vishaka is like hold on man <laughs> what's there on the ground let me check it so then you try to come down so basically you would have realized in swati whatever you would have been doing when jupiter was transiting of course it had left swati also long back but when jupiter was in swati 
I don't know the exact dates, but I had seen when Jupiter was during those days. That many people are trying so many different things. And now when it came to Vishakha, people were like, Okay, I tried 10 types of meditation. Now let me check out of these 10, which are working actually. Because Swati gives you a lot of encounters, but there's nothing specific there. Yes. And Vishakha tries to be a bit specific. So then you narrow down your options. Suppose Jupiter is your seventh lord. Yes. Gemini ascendant, for example. Then what would happen? You would have tried, suppose you are trying to get married, then it could have happened that, oh my God, you are dating too many people. Or especially if Jupiter is the fifth lord. Yes. Then this could happen. And then when it came to Vishakha, you were like, oh, I've met 10 girls, but it's not working. Maybe with two of them, it works. <laughs> and then when it comes to Vishakha, you were like, okay, now let me try. But still, you are hovering because Vishakha shows split, after, which means ultimately one of them you have to select. Yes, one of them you have to select doesn't mean that you have to neglect the others, but it simply means that you can't do everything. See, basically, the thing you realize in Vishakha is from Swati. You can't do everything. If your 10th Lord was Jupiter, then it would have happened that you have tried so many things in career. I will do business. I will do job. I will do this. I will do that. So many things simultaneously. Because Swati is that air. Why? Which is, yeah, do everything. It's ruled by Rahu. So Rahu convinces you, whatever you think is right, is right. And whatever you think you can do, you can do it. But then when you come to Vishakha, it's the Nakshatra of Jupiter, which is, hold on. It's not happening that way. Yes. So when Jupiter went into Vishakha, we felt this energy. Now what's happening? Jupiter has turned retrograde, which basically means that now again, <laughs> from those few options, we are having this tendency to go backward and check what's going on. So now it can happen that we again go back to those options from which we narrow down our things. Can happen. Of course, depends on so many other factors. But I am saying, uh, as Vic Dikara said in uh, his interview, which he gave to me, that he said, whenever you are taking any planet's exaltation or debilitation, you cannot take it in isolation. Yes. But when we speak, then we have to speak as if that's the only planet in the chart. Because otherwise, then you can't learn astrology, right? So basically that will depend on uh, what's going on overall in the chart. So, But in general, the energy of Jupiter will have these uh, kind of dynamics, especially pertaining to spirituality. That is why in last six months, uh, eight months, you would have seen so many spiritual encounters coming. Yes, so many people, so many uh, gurus trying to uh, preach what they want. Yes. I have seen this especially and more than gurus I have seen especially people taking to different spiritual paths but after two days they are like oh this is not working after three days that is not working that happens when Jupiter transits Swati it can happen sometimes but that's not bad you are experimenting that's fine that's okay there's nothing wrong in that but now after becoming retrograde in Vishakha Jupiter is like hold on man <laughs> which options did I select so suppose Jupiter is ruling your sixth house. You are a Cancer Lagna. Yes. Then what, what happens? Some matters pertaining to your health, which you try to, suppose you wanted to lose weight. You are a Cancer resident. Suppose. Then it could happen that you try 10 different things. You tried this diet, Atkins diet. You tried that diet, low fat diet, high fat diet. So many things you tried. And then, by the time it came to Vishakha, you realized, I think Atkins diet doesn't work. <laughs> I think Ayurveda will work. And there's a other one, one diet which will work. And when Jupiter was transiting in Vishakha, direct, then you were experimenting on those. Yes, you were trying this and that simultaneously. But now when it's going retrograde, you are taking a reality check. Suppose by the end of this transit, when Jupiter was in 29 degrees direct, you would have thought that, oh, maybe Ayurveda is better than this Atkins diet. Maybe. <laughs> Cancer ascendance. But then, suddenly you thought, oh, no, no, no. It's not the case. What about the other diet? What about this diet, which I didn't follow at all? 
<laughs> so now the tendency is to go back to Swati and experiment more. Yes. So the only thing which I would say in this video is pertaining to Jupiter's retrogression is we need to do our spiritual practices properly. We need to do our meditation properly and we need to ground ourselves very strongly. Otherwise, the nature of wind, Swati, can uh, uproot things. Now, which uh, this does not mean that this is bad, but it can happen that we are doing too many things which are actually not required. And because Swati is controlled by Rahu, it can give us this illusion that, oh, you need to do this. Basically, there can be too much multi-processing which we do, pertaining to those houses where Jupiter is ruling, because now the energy is more turbulent. From retrogression, it is moving towards Swati, from Vishakha, right? So, the fact of the matter is, we need to stabilize ourselves and we need to ground ourselves and we need to have a reality check on, do we need to go to these extremes? Yes, because it can happen that we do some unnecessary things which uh, we regret later, especially pertaining to money or expenses because Jupiter also represents money because it, it is... The Karaka for the second house and the 11th house. Yes, it is the Karak. And it also rules the 12th house of Pisces which shows expenses. So, it doesn't show expenses that way. It shows donations, spiritual uh, encounters, losses on those regards, pilgrimages, etc. But it can happen that if Jupiter is ruling your second house. Yes. So, for example, if you are a Scorpio ascendant, then you can do some too much unnecessary expenses. Yes. Can happen that way. If Jupiter is ruling your ninth house, you are an Aries Lagna, then it can happen that too many spiritual practices you are doing or your relationship with your father is going, it's like it's in doldrums. <laughs> Today it is good, tomorrow it's bad, after tomorrow it's like you, are, you both are like soulmates and then suddenly every, again you are fighting. So basically the very simple thing that we need to do is during this transit of Jupiter's retrogression in the sign of Libra and that too in nakshatras like Swati and Vishakha. We need to take a paper and we need to write down. And it can happen that when we are doing our practices like meditation etc. Then also these things can keep eating us all the time. We are trying to meditate but Jupiter is going retrograde. Oh you need this, you need that. I need to do this, I need to do that. I will do vipassana also. I will do this mantra meditation. I will do that secluded meditation. I will do everything together. Right? So that doesn't happen. So we need to take a pen and paper. And we need to write down the things that we actually did when Jupiter was in Swati. Yes. And then whatever we finalized when Jupiter was in Vishakha. Now this energy is good in one way that we can harmonize and check if there are other things which we left, which we did not do, if we can include those in our life now. So that when Jupiter crosses Vishakha and goes to Anuradha, then we can focus more on them. But this can also have some challenges, which means we may take up too many things which are actually unnecessary. Okay, So that's the thing here. The important thing is that we do our spiritual practices properly irrespective of whichever lagna we are because Jupiter will always rule some chart but it is for everybody unanimously the natural significator of spirituality and especially if it is ruling houses like 9 or like 9 yes for 2 ascendants then it becomes much 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 more prominent because then it is also ruling the ninth house of spirituality yes so just check your ascendant whichever houses Jupiter is ruling be careful not to do too many unnecessary things pertaining to that house. Yes, can happen. I have seen, especially for cancer people. I have seen they have been experimenting too much on health or work related issues sometimes. So they can feel that, oh, or today I will work to because sixth house is also work. So, or exercises, yoga, these kind of things. So you can, you might have experienced this. Yes. So for Capricorn, Jupiter rules the third house and the twelfth house. So some unnecessary expenses which are actually not to be done but you may feel that I want to do this yes so then after becoming stationary again it will come direct and then again it will hover in the nakshatra of Vishakha so then again we will realize that we again have to narrow down things and ultimately when by the end of this year when it crosses Scorpio and uh, crosses Libra and goes to Scorpio and crosses the fourth path of Vishakha and enters the nakshatra of Anuradha there we realize that oh 
nothing is working except this so then we will be like okay i will only do this <laughs> yes but till that time there's this dilly dally state which is going on oh maybe this maybe that yes so those are the remedies which i would say take a pen and a paper and whichever house of jupiter is ruling write it down yes and don't do too much unnecessary uh window shopping or don't do too much unnecessary gossip <laughs> especially if jupiter is ruling the second house or third house we can do some too much unnecessary gossip yes oh what happened to our childhood friend did he had an affair or how they got this promotion i mean come on man let them live their lives all right so that is it should i say anything else it's like swati i am trying to figure out <laughs> All right so swati is not a bad nakshatra nobody should think that swati is a bad nakshatra because sometimes i say some things and then people interpret it in their own terms yes so neither is vishaka a bad nakshatra there is no bad or there is no good nakshatra in this zodiac belt okay every nakshatra teaches their own lessons and the things which we are not learning inside ourselves that is what the nakshatras teach ultimately yes our own shortcomings basically yes or our achievements that can also be shown by nakshatras yes so don't treat any nakshatra as good or don't treat any nakshatra as bad so that is what i wanted to say here that maintain a notebook keep writing things be realistic do your sadhana properly get up early in the morning and do your meditation that will keep the mind calm otherwise jupiter is going retrograde and that to these type of nakshatras is completely jupiter is like should i do this or should i do that so you will be like oh should i become a muslim should i become a hindu should i become a christian hold on you don't have to become anybody <laughs> because these are not the nakshatras where you make some strong fixed decisions at least the the beginning part of vishakha is not like that yes so be very careful that you don't do unnecessary things especially things pertaining to swati which is like showing off to people trying to prove others how great you are yes because swati is that whoosh, why you greatness so we may try to show how great we are sometimes so it is good if you don't do that and on the other side we do our spiritual practices properly be realistic and whatever is required we do it by taking notes in a paper and taking proper guidance from gurus and counselors so that is how uh, this energy has to be studied not just oh jupiter is going retrograde now this thing will happen that thing will happen okay all right that is it for my side if you are new to the channel then you have not yet subscribed then maybe you are thinking should you subscribe because of jupiter being in vishakha should i subscribe or should i not so i leave the decision on to you <laughs> <laughs> and if you want a consultation maybe then also you are hovering yes but if you want and you have decided then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and if you like this video or if you know somebody who is hovering in the plane yes of what to do and there are like too many things are there to do then share this video with them okay that is it from my side wish you good luck and i hope that you make some decision by the time jupiter enters anuradha by the end of this year okay bye bye see you <laughs>